Hi, we are happy to introduce you to our novel model, MCM GEM. MCM GEM stands for Membrane Computing Model of Genetically Engineered Machine. In this framework, we apply a membrane computing approach to AI2 signaling system. By watching this tutorial, you will become an expert who can generate amazing results out of this unique model. Also, you will find out that one of the most important aspects of this model is that it provides a common simulation language that could be applied to absolutely all biological systems. Membrane computing is a branch of natural computing which is inspired by biological membranes, functions, and structures, and could be thought of as a framework for devising compartmentalized models that are used to simulate cell functioning. In this figure, there are 12 bacterial cells demonstrated. Each bacterial cell has two regions, cytoplasmic and periplasmic. Chemicals, which are called objects in this framework, are located either within these two regions or in the environment, and the only way they are able to interact together is that they are located in the same region. For instance, in this figure, the LUXU protein is able to interact with the phosphate group, however, it is not able to reach the AI2 molecule in periplasmic space and therefore cannot interact with it. In addition, each region has a set of rules, which determines how objects are produced, consumed, and transported from one region to the other, and otherwise interact with one another. The application of these rules are calculated by Gillespie's algorithm. This algorithm introduces randomness to our simulation. This was a very short intro to the membrane computing approach. We encourage you to take a look at our paper to learn more about it. So let's have a short tour in this interface. There are three different tabs on the top. Input, Visualization, and About. Input tab includes two sub-tabs, Simulation Parameters and Rule Constants. Under Simulation Parameters, we have different parameters to set before running the simulation. To get the user started, each parameter is set to a default value. Users are able to modify each value before running the program. If you would like to learn more about biological details of this simulation before running it, you can use the Visualization tab which provides you an animation of the two cascades of the biological system. For watching the visualization, please visit our second tutorial movie. Okay, let's get the simulation working. We have different parameters for the simulation in general, population size and simulation steps. We enter 20 for population size and 2000 for steps. Cytoplasm, periplasmic space, and environment also get their own list of parameters. Let's have 10 for Lux S and 10 for Lux PQ in each bacterial cell. Let's change some rule constants as well. As it would be hard for users to remember which constant belongs to which rule, a tooltip option is activated so that when you move the mouse pointer over each constant, its corresponding interaction rule is displayed. Let's go back to Simulation Parameters tab. At the bottom of the interface, we have a checkbox, which allows users to introduce division into the mix. Now the simulation is ready to run, so we click the Run button. The uniqueness of our approach compared to other models is that it provides various interactive results that could be used for qualitatively studying the biological system. The results of this framework highlight how and why the system behaves in certain ways. In other words, it could be described as a film taken from the transmission period of the simulated system. This model allows us to observe the behavior of each individual cell as well as the emergent properties of the whole population. As you have observed, it also enables us to manipulate factors involved in the simulation to understand their effects in individual as well as colony behaviors. These novel results and their interpretations are available in our paper. Finally, we strongly encourage you to apply this approach to your own biological system, as this framework will amaze you by its computational ability. Thanks for dedicating your time to watch this tutorial. See you all at Jamboree.